welcome to Monetize Your Mind with your host, Bob Baer, creator of the More Power to Publish Monetize Your Mind Workshop. And welcome to Monetize Your Mind. This is Pat Dewar, host of the show is Bob Baer. Bob is a serial entrepreneur and a publisher in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that has been helping people get, uh, well, all the way to bestseller in, as we build this monetizing your mind uh, platform. Bob, today's show, I know we want to talk about LinkedIn mm -hmm. and how authors can begin to really uh, tap into building their community because mm -hmm. they're going to need that, aren't they, Bob? Absolutely. I, I think of being an author as owning a business and every book is like starting a new business. LinkedIn is for business people and it's also for authors, for speakers, for celebrities, for professionals. Very good. And we've got Lucinda Rook. Right. Like book. Rook. Right. Book. <laughs> so Lucinda and you are, a, I always affectionately call you the LinkedIn queen, but you are someone that has trained corporations around the country on how to maximize the LinkedIn experience. They'll bring you in, you'll work with their salespeople, their executives to really maximize the experience. And we're so thankful for you to be on there. And I've known you for a number of years, so it's always great to, to be with you, especially since you know, I guess, the head of LinkedIn, the guy who founded it? Co-founder. Co-founder of LinkedIn. And how has that helped you in your development? Uh, basically giving you a perspective from the top down, an approach, a strategy for um, taking it forward, helping other businesses with LinkedIn. Very good, very good. Well, I know that, that today's show, Bob, you know, this mm -hmm. is your opportunity to really shine how the authors need to build a platform, don't they? Absolutely. You know, a lot of people hear that word platform. Yes. And they think that we're talking about the stage being on a platform speaking and that's part of it but it is all about how you get attention how you get followers how do people hear you and to me one of the most critical things that people need to know about is LinkedIn mm -hmm. because it's more than Twitter it's more than Facebook LinkedIn is it's like it's custom made for authors and celebrities and speakers and if you present yourself wrong on LinkedIn, it's like presenting yourself wrong the way you're dressed. That's right. And Lucinda, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Why is it that LinkedIn is like a first impression for people that are on it? Well, it's like dress for success. It's like you would never go to an event without knowing how to dress. That is your presence. And so you want to put your best foot forward. A speaker, an author, a coach, a trainer, any of those, you're building your business and your services around your reputation. And so when you go to LinkedIn and you look, you view that person on LinkedIn, you want to make sure the best foot's put forward. And what you're talking about now is really kind of what their profile is and what their history is. But there's another part of it, and that is the interactions. It's kind of like etiquette. If you went yes. to a nice restaurant, a nice meal, and you didn't know the proper etiquette, you didn't know which fork to use, or you were picking up your soup bowl and slurping, <laughs> it wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> That's right. And there's an etiquette for LinkedIn, isn't there? Oh, yes. I mean, there's a professional etiquette that you want to follow, and it's like you said, it's like the slurping of the spoon or the soup. <laughs> some people just don't know. And then the other thing is, is some people get on there, and they just accept the default of what LinkedIn puts in front of them. And so, like we all know, when I get an invitation and I see it's the default, I, it's, it's a sign of being a beginner. It's not the sign of being a professional. It's a sign of being someone who doesn't really know how to participate on LinkedIn versus those who really have their act together and present that professional persona just like their book or just like their public speaking. It's great when you see it, you know it and you stand out from the others out there. I mean, with over 250 million people, you have to stand out, you have to be noticed, and that professionalism will show. And one of the things that I want to talk about, and I know we'll talk about it in later segments for sure, mm -hmm. but it's the fact that you're not just connecting with potential readers with LinkedIn, you're connecting with potential publishers, with oh, people yes. who might be part of your team, who might help you 
publicize, who might help you spread the word. And so there's a level of professionalism. Oh, there's a level of professionalism. There's also, it's like the good old days when it was, it's not when I meet someone and who do you know, it's also who do they know. So if, if you're writing a book mm -hmm. and a publisher comes through and says, you know, I'd like to get to know you, well, guess what? You're probably not only getting to know that publisher, but think of the network they bring, the team, if you will, the team that can contribute to your book, to publishing you, engaging others, building that network. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome tool. There's another statement that I think is really important. They used to say, what's important is who you know. Right. Now I've heard somebody say, what's important is who wants to know you. Yes. And that's a big part of LinkedIn, isn't it? Yes, yes. I mean, there's always invi invitations coming in saying, I'd like to get to know you, and here's the reason why. Those are the professional ones. They let you know what's in it for them, what's in it for both of them. Mm -hmm. Those are, I, LinkedIn is the most awesome tool. If you think about how much networking you can do on LinkedIn in that same amount of time as face-to-face, -face, there's nothing more powerful. One of the things that we need to do is we're going to have to, to go to our our sponsors, but I want to say, if you're interested in connecting in this area, by all means, send them an invite on LinkedIn. They'll learn you right, so to speak, as we say down here in Texas. We'll be right back. <laughs> you can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. And welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. We're talking today with Lucinda Rook. And she's here with Bob Bear, the, the founder of Monetize Your Mind and Seeger Publishing. We are talking about how speakers, authors, but most specifically book uh, people. Would you, what do you want to call that, Bob? Book authors, authors, writers, writers publishers. But I mean, there's so many aspects of the, the writing There's a large group. But I think community. mostly we're, we're addressing people that want to make connections with that community, so authors and speakers and professionals. I deal a lot with people who are maybe C-level right. people, people who are in business, who have a corporation. Maybe they don't have time to write their own book and they're looking for help, they're looking for advice, they're very busy. And it's important when you're a busy person, it's important to have the right connections. It's important to know who to ask the correct questions if you want the right answers. And what I found is one of the best ways for authors, speakers, celebrities, people who want to make good, strong connections, one of the most important things is to have a professional profile on LinkedIn and know how to use LinkedIn. And our guest, Lucinda, is our expert. She advises us on how we handle ourselves on LinkedIn. And Lucinda, let's dig in a little bit deeper, specifically okay. with, with authors and speakers, and talk about some of the, some of the what, are, what are maybe some of the main features that they should know about in LinkedIn that some people don't know about? Well, one of the newest ones, let, let's divide up. Okay. Let's talk about authors first. Okay. One of the things that LinkedIn has out there now is something called projects. And so as you look at an author, a lot of the folks that don't know that this new feature is there, you know, you can read through their profile and you can say, yes, they're an author of X number of books, here's the list of books, here's how you might order a book. But what, what is even more powerful is to put in the projects, here's the new books I'm working on, here's what's coming, here's the research I'm doing, here's what would be of interest to me in writing the book if you'd like to participate with me, and potentially you can put you know, a deadline of when you think you might be published. It's a great way to engage your audience. Therefore, if you're writing something on healthcare, let's say, and someone's reading your profile about healthcare and you're offering a survey or a poll or just an open, I'm collecting information, it's a great way to engage. See, this is a good example of what Lucinda just said of why it's important to talk to experts. I didn't know that, Lucinda. I, I, I don't have anything under projects. 
I have books I'm working on. Oh. And so that's, <laughs> that's great information for me. Well, we need to get that out there. We, well, need, to, we need to redo it. And, and then the other thing is, is you know, I've, I've worked with several authors, and one of the things is, is you can put out there, everyone knows you can put the text out there, right? Mm -hmm. What is it I do? What's my experience? Mm -hmm. What's my background? What builds my credibility? But one of the authors I worked with, she asked me to review her profile. I did. And the thing is, is I said, oh my gosh, you have nothing on there about all your books. Do you know that you can visually put them out there so people can see it? Some people are visual thinkers. You can write about it. You can put the little URL out there, mm -hmm. click, and take them over and have them purchase a book. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. You can put a video. Yep. So if we switch over and talk about speakers, an author might have a video, but a speaker most likely. I mean. What speaker out there today they doesn't have. have a video? Yeah. They should have. They should have multiple. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that back to projects. A speaker can also put, what is that next big conference you're going to? If you're, if you're speaking at a national or global conference, you ought to put in there, this is what I'm working on. It gets attention. And why would I put it out there? Because it's all Google searchable. It's all those search engines. They can search on it and find you. So if someone's searching on a conference they want to go to, your name will pop up to the top because you're saying you've got a project you're working on putting that uh, presentation together on. Well, can so you ask for people to, to contribute information or research maybe or whatever and that you'll give them credit in some way or is it just, just part of the research? Well, it's part of contributing. Uh, definitely yes. As part of contributing, you can engage them, get them following you. You obviously connect on LinkedIn like we talked about before. And before long, you'll start forming affinities. I mean, it's starting that following. You talked about building a platform. Right. Well, part of building that platform is building your followers. Because who buys books? Who buys your what you're publicizing, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. Lucinda, yes. what would you say is the main advantage of Having a LinkedIn profile and having a website. How does LinkedIn oh. shine over a website? Oh, perfect. Let's just back up. A normal website, I call it sort of single surfaced, right? You can yeah. put all the information out there, and about the only definition of engage is, will you give me your email address if you want to sign up for my newsletter? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's sort of the definition. There's a little blogging going on. But if you think about LinkedIn, it's two-way communication. It's taking a look at what's behind that individual, what's in their network, what's in their reputation, how do I ask questions? I mean, it's, it truly is the social engagement in addition to all of the information about each person. To me as a publisher, it's really important for authors to have engagement with their readers. Yes. Readers are really looking for that engagement. And if you have any plans to write more than one book and you want followers that are anxious and ready to buy your next book, yes. you have to have engagement. You do. And that's why LinkedIn is great. And sometimes some of the best ideas for authoring or writing of articles comes from questions from your audience. Very good. We'll be right back with more of Monetize Your Mind. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. We're back with more Monetizing Your Mind with Bob Bear and Lucinda Rook. And one of the things that we're doing today is really talking about LinkedIn and how a author or a writer, a publisher can really create a, I call it a herd, but it, it really is, and that's from my old marketing days. But it's fans, raving fans, fans, community, followers, community, community crowd, yeah. crowd. Any of the above, yeah, yeah the crowd, <laughs> using LinkedIn. And I know that you've actually used uh, the uh, the LinkedIn training to touch the ICF? I have. I and have. That, that would be what? The ICF? Or the International coaching? coaching Federation. It's one of the largest coaching associations in the nation and so reached out to them and done several training sessions with them. Trained several coaches just like authors and speakers 
But it's a great way for coaches to engage and pull in new clients. It's a great way. Most coaches are also speakers and they're also mm -hmm. <laughs> authors. Yeah. So it's, it's, I put them in the same category with that and trainers. That's very good. Now people can connect to you on LinkedIn via, you've got it on the, the, the screen now, the info at linkedinforme.com. I do, and that's four is in the number four, yeah. linkedinforme.com. And then Bob, they can connect to you Bob at BobBear.com is a good email address. Well, that's pretty easy. Now, both of you guys have your websites there as well, but I know a lot of times on this show, we want people to connect to More Power to Publish mm -hmm. because that has tools for writers for authors. And, such, and authors. Yeah. So and of good. course, for the uses of this show, for people watching this show, I have to say that you can search either Lucinda or myself on LinkedIn and connect with us on LinkedIn. Yes. Very good. And tell, yes. tell us a little bit about that. Is it okay to connect with someone you don't know or do you get someone to invite you to know that? How are, how are connections made on LinkedIn? Well, that sort of goes back to that professional comment we made earlier about the business mm -hmm. etiquette. Um, from a LinkedIn standpoint, you need to know that person before you connect. Now the definition of how well you know them is a little loose interpretation. But what they don't want is spamming. They don't want strangers to send in random invites. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they ask for, Bob, if you give me your email address, then I will send you an invite on LinkedIn and I'll put in the email address. And so that's acceptable. If someone is just inviting on the rare chance that you'll say yes, there's a little button there that says, spam where you can report them five of those okay. and you can be shut down they used to wow. shut you down instantly now mm -hmm. they're the, the rules are mm -hmm. let's just say changing <laughs> but talk to us a little bit about degrees of separation we, okay we hear that phrase and the great thing that i've noticed about linkedin is i can read about somebody and if i'm in any way connected about them off to the right hand side i can see who i know who knows someone else who knows that person how do you take advantage of that? Ah, well, first of all, if you're trying to target to get to someone, right. over there on that right-hand side, you look and say, who's between me and that person I'm trying to get to? And it'll open up and you can pick, you know, let's say there's eight names there, you can pick the best way to get into that person. The other way is if I'm looking at your profile mm -hmm. and I see who you're connected to, I might scan down there and say, I want to meet you, you, you're connected to a lot of authors right now. Yeah. So if I want to meet a famous author, I'd look at Bob's profile and I'd look down there and I'd say, that's the person I want to meet. And then I'd say, Bob, will you introduce me? So even though I'm verbally saying this, that is actually the steps you do on LinkedIn too. So it's pretty um, self-obvious. Once you've done it, you'll learn how to do introductions and how to get introduced from there going forward. How would an author use LinkedIn to promote their book? Ah, very easy. I take this book, I would have this front and center on the middle of the profile. I create that visual image that, you know, the text is up here, the picture's up there. I put it front and center and then underneath I'd put, this is how you can buy this book. This is how you can go read more about it. You can read about the, the, the what, publisher's comments, any mm -hmm. of the forward, any of the, um, subsequent, since it hit the press, your press releases, just the, the main emphasis is to take them from your LinkedIn profile and always draw them back to your main website because that's where you collect the money. LinkedIn doesn't collect so the money. So you're actually promoting on LinkedIn, which is one thing yes. that I have noticed on Facebook, for example, nobody likes you to promote yourself. Right. But on LinkedIn... Um, there's a fine line. Mm -hmm. And there's no overt sales, mm -hmm. but you can market whatever you want. So as long as you stick to the marketing side and just draw with links, like any of the videos, like you can put videos out there, it should always draw back to your main website because that's where you really take the shopping cart. On LinkedIn, you're really there to engage and, and learn from each other and network and build that. So. As you connect, you want to think about, if you're wanting to sell this book, mm -hmm. you want to connect with people who have large networks. If you connect with me, I have over 15 million now, soon to be 16 million. 
So you think about that would be a healthy group to get in front of. Mm -hmm. So you always want to think about connecting to that person's network, just not not just connecting to that person themselves. Well, so. One of the things that, that, as we're about to go to the, the break here, Bob's book is actually an excellent step-by-step uh, -step guide to doing a whole lot of things, run the business or being an author. And so I hope that, that, that people do connect to that. We've got more of Monetize Your Mind right after this. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com. And welcome back to Monetize Your Mind. Today we're talking about, well, LinkedIn and how if you're an expert, an author, a speaker, someone that really needs to build their community, you should be listening to the show. In fact, you should watch the show several times because Bob Bear, who's a serial entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur, Seeger Publisher, Seeger Publishing, I guess mm -hmm. is the, the actual term. And I know you, you're a big publisher. Lucinda, you, your LinkedIn is the teaching that you do and the training you do for corporations is uh, amazing. I have been so thankful for what you've done even with, with my profile that <laughs> obviously looked like a neophyte. <laughs> but uh, one of the key things that we want people to do is engage with you guys, and that would be to send you guys a, what do they call it, an invitation? Invitation. And how would they do that for you, Lucinda? Basically go out on LinkedIn, do a search on Lucinda Rook, and there's a place where you can say, connect, you hit the button, and it'll prompt you for, how do you know me? So put in your current business, or if we really do have a relationship somewhere else out of another group, Put that in and tell me how you know me. When you send that invite, don't use that default LinkedIn, um, I'll just say beginner's level invitation. Tell me how you know me. Say you met me on this show. Tell, tell, them, tell me you met me at the Bob Bear Show. And then I'll be glad to connect with you. You hit enter and I'll reply. Awesome. And easy? then same thing, Bob. Same thing with me. Just go to LinkedIn, search under Bob Bear, B-A-R-E, and Send me an invitation to connect, and if it asks for what's my email address, put in bob at bobbear.com. One of the things that's really important, though, in the future is we've built the Dallas Experts Network in this area, mm -hmm. and, and we're talking about building some other things. On LinkedIn, I know that we're talking about creating something just for the, uh, the expert arena, mm -hmm. because you tend to work with folks that are in that area that want to get their book done and really don't have the time, is what I know, that you're the done-for-you solution for making sure that their story comes into the marketplace and actually has an impact. Well, I think it's really important that anybody that has expertise in an area becomes known for that, and so we created the Dallas Experts Network for that. Uh, I have Experts Weekly, uh, an interview show every week, and in the LinkedIn arena, we are preparing to enter that arena with a group that will help people who are experts and professionals and authors and speakers to connect with people that are important to them. And when you're an author or a speaker, it's extremely important that you build a great team around you. There's a lot of different needs that an author has. And so many times an author may be good at writing, they may be good at their area of expertise, but there are so many other areas. They may need a great editor. They may need a good book coach. Or actually, more importantly, a good book strategist. Because when you write a book, it's not the book that is really of the most value for you. The book brings people to you, brings them into your sphere of influence. And the strategy that you have behind the book to get to know people and to connect with them is more important than the book. And LinkedIn, to me, is one of the most important strategies. I've, I've had people that I know are experts, or mm -hmm. that at least they purported to be experts, and I searched their name on LinkedIn, and I didn't find them. And a few years ago, it used to be that, that people would say, well, you're nobody if you don't have a website. You know, what's your website? And people were <laughs> embarrassed when they didn't have a website. Well, if I were a professional, if I were an author, if I were a speaker, I would say the same thing now. Are you on LinkedIn? 
but let me take a look at your profile on LinkedIn. And as a publisher, I want to see their profile on LinkedIn. You, you definitely want to read them. And yet, you know what? I was just doing some research in the last few days to get ready for the show. And I pulled up authors, and I pulled up speakers, mm -hmm. and coaches, and trainers. And you know what? I think the most death-defying instance is if an author has a typo in their book, right? <laughs> okay, so then, now uh, you know what I'm an editor, this is even worse, right? You know what I'm going <laughs> to say next. So when I pull up an author's profile and there's typos, I'm thinking, "Oh my gosh, they need help with their social media, they need help with their LinkedIn. That's their presence. That's their reputation out there. How can an author have typos?" So I've got a survey going on right now and I'm I'm I've broadened it wider than authors, but it's just to show how important it is because this book is a one-time publication, mm -hmm. but that network that you extend to, that goes on forever. I'll never forget. There's typos in that author's <laughs> profile, right? That's right. <laughs> I, I'll never forget that they're missing, you know, the one client that I have that was missing eight books on her profile. Why wasn't it there? Wow. Is that missed opportunity? What if she had 15, 16 million in her network? and still no books out there. So people should connect to you guys <laughs> yeah. via LinkedIn especially, and should they? would it be helpful if they said something like, I wanna be in your LinkedIn group? Yes. So go ahead and, and put that in there. That would open a, a lot of doors there. That would be great because our intention is through the LinkedIn group just to facilitate introducing people to people that would be helpful to them. LinkedIn is basically a networking group and I think of it yes. The greatest function to me with LinkedIn is to become connected online through an introduction. You get to know each other online, but then to get to know each other in person and then to do business together. Absolutely. So they would get to you at Lucent. It's, it's, but actually, it's uh, info, info at, at LinkedInForMe.com. And but they'll look you up on at, just like on, on the screen, Lucinda. Yes. Uh, Rook. Rook. I'm going to get that. But with an H. Rook I know. I know. I and Bob. <laughs> They send you an invite at bob at bobbear.com. Too easy. Now, we, of course, always want to say, if you're a speaker and author, you should be listening to this. If you're an expert in your field and you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, meet us at the Den. The uh, Dallas Expert Network, you can look us up on meetup.com and, and connect with us. By all means, connect to any one of us online. I know mine, Patrick Dewar, you want to uh, connect at patrick at dewarsuccess.com. Be happy to make sure that you're connected to Lucinda and Bob so that you get what you want, which is really the right team around you, the right team in the community to help your, you have success in everything you do. Let's monetize your mind. We'll talk to you next time.